What is up my short heads? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing the first ride and review of the Megatron Segway GT2 Super Scooter. Before we get started on this video, if you guys do want to support the channel, check out that link down below for the Megatron Segway GT2 Super Scooter. If Segway isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. So in this video, we're going to be doing a quick overview and we're going to go right into the speed test. We'll also do some terrain testing and some hill climbing. The Segway Transformer GT2 Megatron Scooter retails for $3,990. $99.99, but right now it's on sale for $2,999.99. This is the limited edition GT2 scooter with the Megatron branding. Super stoked that we're working with Segway and Transformers. The GT2 has a top speed of 43.5 miles an hour, but we're going to test that out. It has a 0 to 30 in 3.9 seconds. They claim a 55.9 mile range. The frame is made out of aircraft grade aluminum. We also have front and rear hydraulic disc brakes. Then up here we have this transparent PMO LED display. This electric scooter also has two wheel drive. We also have a double wishbone suspension structure. We have 11 inch anti-puncture tubeless tires. These are self healing tires. We have a front and rear dampener adjustable suspension. It has a 45.2 inch wheelbase. The GT2 electric scooter two hub motor generates a 3000 watt maximum power in each reaching 88 newton meters of peak torque. The GT2 also has has twin charging technology. So with both chargers, they're gonna be charging at four amps. It's got a 15, 12 watt hour high performance battery and the battery is a 52 volt, 30 amp hour. We also have 900 lumen LED light on the front along with a daytime running light. It includes optional rear ambient light with 11 light modes that can be chosen from the Segway app. And right up here, we also have a double safety quick folding structure. The Segway GT2 scooter has a max payload of 331 pounds. The the required height is between 3 foot 11 and 6 foot 6. Their water rating is IPX4. Now that that overview is done, let's get started on the speed test. All right, guys, so we have this nice long straight road. We are at a full 58.8 volt charge. Turn that on, make sure we remove that display cover. You can actually see it really good and it's super sunny now. So let's start off all these tests in dual wheel drive. When you power it on first, it always starts in park mode. So you click left one, two, three to get into race mode. Hit the boost button. We're gonna start off in boost. We have our GPS speedometer running. This is the first time I've ever felt this and let's go. Oh my, whoa, 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 bro. <laughs> 34 miles an hour there. 37, 40, I just hit 40. 41.4, 41.9 guys. 41.8, come on, 42 miles an hour there guys. Oh my God. And I do have the roll off regen on here, on strong, so when I let go, Oh, I feel it breaking for me. I feel it breaking, that's awesome. On top of that, you can choose how much power it sucks in for the region. I have that on strong also. We hit exactly 42 miles an hour is our top speed on boost mode. So let's turn off boost mode. So, oh yeah, when you uh, hit boost mode, you don't have traction control. Same thing in race mode. Let's go to race mode. Let's go chin mount. I love the back part of the foot pad where you can rest your foot on there. And what's cool on the front, it has this little pop-up where you can kind of lock your foot in there too. So here we go, race mode, full blast. <laughs> oh my God. Man, this is crazy how stable this feels, guys. I feel like I can hold on with one hand. Let's see. Oh my God. I would never do that on any other scooter. 43.3, get out of here. 43.5, 43.7. What? Hold on. How's race mode faster than boost mode? Top speed on race mode is 43.8 miles an hour. Let's go into sport mode now. Man, this scooter is freaking crazy. The Megatron. I'm going to be practicing that voice a lot. I'm hoping Transformers hears this and hires me to be the new Megatron. And guys, if you find one that you like, just timestamp your favorite one and I'll try to practice that one as much as I can. All right, let's do sport mode. Check the traction control from the Blast off here, three, two, one, go. Oh wow, that's crazy. God, the torque on this thing is insane. 42 miles an hour on sport mode. And from those few speed tests, we're down to 95% eco mode. Probably gonna be slow, but let's check it out. All right, eco is about 22.5 miles an hour. All right, we're gonna do all the same tests, but we're gonna hold this down and put it on 
one wheel drive race mode and actually there's no boost mode on single wheel drive one wheel drive race mode let's check it out oh definitely not even close to how much torque we have in two wheel drive 36.8 37 miles an hour can we hit 40 on a one wheel top speed was 39.8 miles an hour here we go eco mode one wheel drive so our top speed in eco single wheel 22.1 miles an hour all right guys i'm going to show you a cool thing that this scooter can do it does have a cruise control button let's hit it around 20. look at that <laughs> stuck me at 19 but hit it again it turns it off you can even set it at a really really super duper low coasting crazy speed so let's try like three miles an hour it's actually taking me on cruise control at three miles an hour and once you hit the throttle it cuts it out so there is a little sign right there that tells you you're on cruise control hit it again turns it off hit the brakes turns it off too to put it back in a two-wheel drive you actually have to come to a complete stop now we're in two wheel drive. Oh, and I forgot, they do have a walking mode, so it's like super duper duper slow. Let's see, walking mode is about four miles an hour. This is the best quality scooter we've ever had on a channel, guys. I've never ridden a scooter this nice. And let me tell you guys, we're in boost mode. The throttle control and response is so awesome. The fact that you can like lightly go, but then if you whip it. <laughs> oh my God. The freaking takeoff torque is insanity. Oh, it actually shows you how much boost is left in your boost mode. That little red bar, I did not know it actually disappeared. What I love about this scooter too is we do have left and right turning signals. Blinks for a few seconds, front and rear. Every time you let the scooter sit for maybe like 10 seconds, it throws you right back into park mode. Now we're in a sand. Let's see how the traction control works here. That's crazy. This is really deep sand. Do you guys think this can handle the beach? I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to try. Two wheel drive, no treaded tires. Ah, uh, nope, <laughs> nope. We're gonna rock some sounds. And just so you know, you can't have the app and the speaker hooked up to the scooter at the same time. It's one or the other. Let's do a different one. Oh guys, I forgot to tell you, on top of all the different things you can do in the app, you can actually turn off the brake cutoff sensor so you can actually do burnouts where you can hold the front brake and peel out. <laughs> I don't know guys, we have a five inch clearance on this scooter. Oh yeah, it's, it's bottoming out on that. I'm definitely not hitting those stairs. The one thing that I do wish this scooter had is a little more real estate on the handlebars so we can mount phone mounts or different type of mounts on there but if you guys know any other options i can do so i can set stuff up on the handlebars let me know down in the comments all right one thing i need to do at 20 miles an hour let's do a quick brake check wow i did a, a little indo right there <laughs> these brakes are awesome they feel really really nicely tuned and they grab i really love how the brake levers actually feel you can use one finger to stop the scooter all right here we are at hill climb test hill <laughs> steepest part of the hill from a stop two-wheel drive <laughs> nothing like nothing all right can we do the same in single motor one-wheel drive race mode straight up can we make it oh it definitely doesn't feel as powerful oh oh single motor is not taking me up this hill click the two <laughs> And we're getting right up there. <laughs> you guys know we got to test out the grass every time we see this grass. Whoa, the front is peeling out like crazy. Hold on, let's go to sport. Then we have traction control. Whoa, that was a big hole. Wow, and actually took it very nicely. Guys, do you like the more like death metal Megatron? Or like the throaty Megatron? Or Megatron? <laughs> Whoa, I almost fell there, guys. Hey, and the fact that I can one hand this, look, over the bumps, boop, 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 boop. One more test on traction control. This has got to slip us out. Let's check it out on sport mode. That's so cool how it does that, guys. I guess there's no better time than right now. I'd like to thank the past, present, and future subscribers, because without you guys, we wouldn't be here riding the Segway Megatron GT2 limited edition scooter. This thing feels like the Tesla of scooters. Curve hop. Oh, let's go. This is one thing I wanted to show you guys in the app. So you go down here to where it says more functions and you can change all the different things like light effect. You can customize mode speed, 
horn settings, speed modes, electric brake level, energy recovery, charging limit, zero speed start, brake priority, auto power off, and you can change from imperial to metric system. Under customized speed modes, you can actually custom set each different mode to any speed you want. Here's our different horn settings. This is how it comes out of the box. Normal mode, which is, here's the beep with vibration. It has to be out of park to have the vibration. You can even lock this scooter down like this. And it's gonna turn off the display and everything. So if somebody starts trying to move it, it actually locks the wheels up. But after a while, I'm pretty sure it'll start making an alarm. If you keep, there it is, there it is. That's pretty cool. I love that. And then you can turn it off. So many different things you can do with the Megatron Segway GT2. I'm definitely, definitely impressed with the quality and build of the scooter. So solid, the frame feels great. Being able to hold on with one hand and still give it throttle, insane, the control you can have over the scooter. Check that out. Segway Super Scooter GT2 Megatron Limited Edition and it tells you the number that you have. So I'm number 388 out of 1,150. If you guys get this scooter, let me know what number you guys are. Same thing back here. You get this cool little license plate with a number on there. And we're gonna get you guys flying next to me so we can check out a little bit of terrain around here. Looks like a storm's rolling in, guys. Look at that over that way. All right, we're going race. <laughs> Let's get it. Ah! <laughs> Whoa, guys, this is amazing. <laughs> Always be careful catching these drones. They did not call for rain today. Hold the front brakes. Another suspension test. We got DD filming. Oh, God. Oh, oh. oh it's slippery now that the tracks are wet. <laughs> Yeah, the suspension feels good. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> suspension test, a success. Will it keep taking you up a hill with it being in cruise control? <laughs> yeah, bro, that's sick. <laughs> All right, let's go through a puddle, see if we get splashed. Fenders work. All right, now we're kind of riding through sand. Remember, we don't have treaded tires. Damn, that traction control is awesome. I would seriously never feel this comfortable holding on with one hand with any other scooter, guys. We're gonna go check out a little bit of light off-roading and maybe go up some hills. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do sport mode for now, just so we have like a little bit of traction control on this thing. All right, let's go full throttle. Oh, wow, it's so smooth out here. Let's go! Oh, oh my goodness. Two-wheel drive. Oh, those rocks just tore me up. Oh! Boost mode, guys. Here we go. Three, two, one, boost. <laughs> Whoa, I almost lost it there, guys. Let's go up this super duper crazy steep hill. We're keeping it on two-wheel drive. Let's go to race mode. Up this super steep hill, we're probably gonna peel out the whole way. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> the suspension on this scooter is definitely, definitely really good for this little light off-roading like this. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus, scooter's crazy, guys. Insanity. Super smooth through this stuff. The whole scooter feels solid, but we have a, just a slight rattle where the stem bends. If you guys hear rattling, that is that right there. I don't know if there's a way to actually tighten that down. Let's go, faster than traffic. I am definitely impressed with the Segway GT2 Megatron electric scooter. Let me know what you guys think about today's review down in the comments. If you guys think I missed any tests that you guys wanna see in another video on this scooter, let me know. We'll definitely be bringing this scooter back out on another video. We're gonna have to do a full throttle, dual motor, boost mode range test. Definitely impressed with the power. Was super impressed how comfortable of a ride this scooter is. 
man, that was just so much fun riding this scooter through the grass and putting it through its paces. The only other thing we couldn't do is get it onto the beach. The fact that we don't have like the treaded tires on there made it a little bit hard for me to travel through the sand, but maybe we can swap out to some treaded tires in the future on this scooter. And as for portability, it is a pretty heavy scooter at 116 pounds. So it might be easier if you have some sort of pickup truck, a van, or something like that with a ramp, they can actually push it up. So guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. And as always, if you wanna support the channel, check out that link down below for the Segway Megatron GT2 Super Scooter. If Segway isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. As always, if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subbscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification <laughs> to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next Megatron ride. Let's go faster than traffic. Fun.